Hey guys, Papa Pete here, back with another pickup video, but today is a really special pickup video. Everything that I have today is for my absolute favorite system, the Intellivision. I've mentioned in my videos before how the Intellivision had a very special uh, place in my life when I was a young kid. I had an Atari. My brother-in-law, uh, who was 15 years older than me, he had an Intellivision. So I grew up playing both, and I have a lot of great members for the Intellivision. I haven't really focused a whole lot on a television on my channel yet, and I'm hoping that will change. But anyway, for today, all my pickups have to deal with the Intellivision. Stick around, I can't wait to show you. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 15, I'll try almost anything. So when Mattel Electronics asked me to compare their Intellivision games with Atari, I gave it a try. I compared Atari baseball with Intellivision and found Intellivision played much more like real baseball. Then I compared Atari football with Intellivision. Again, Intellivision played more like the real game. In my opinion, if you try them both, there's only one conclusion you can come to. Intellivision from Mattel Electronics. Okay guys, like I've told you before, I played a lot of television when I was a kid. I have my brother-in-law's system, the original one that he bought back in 1979, still sitting right over there. I use it, I used it just the other day, I play it all the time. I've got about 90 different games here. Uh, most of the ones I don't have are pretty expensive. I do still try to pick up a few now and again when I get good deals, but really, most, these are the games that I picked up even before I was collecting video games because I really wanted the Intellivision stuff. Anyway, I want to start today with some stuff that I picked up from Intellivision Lives, the actual website. And I saw these things and I thought, you know what, I've had it for a little while, but I wanted to wait to do a special video just of Intellivision stuff. So what I got from Intellivision Lives was, first of all, I got this great Intellivision Lives game club shirt awesome I've had this for quite a while now and I can't wait to put it on I'm doing a television video no better time than the present Right on, in Television Game Club. I love it. All right, so what else did I get from them? These were available, I don't know if you get a television flashback or not. They're great little uh, plug and play devices put out. I don't know who made them. I think it might've been at games, but they were actually pretty good. And the controllers were really good at replicating or emulating the actual in television controllers. So for me, it's the best way to play in television if you don't have the cartridge. Anyway, I got myself a set of the overlays. Only available, I think you only got like 10 overlays, 10 sets of overlays in the actual uh, system, uh, the flashback system. But this is all of the other ones. This is just awesome. And you know what, they're very good quality. They're every bit as good a quality as the ones that came with the original system back in the day. And yes, I do remember them. Every game that's on the Intellivision flashback, flashback there's a set of overlays for them. I'm really happy to have those. They've had them in stock and then they've sold out of them and now I think they're back in stock again so I grabbed them while I could. And notice my Mr. Rogers mug isn't here right now. Well, not having a coffee right now anyway. I got myself an Intellivision mug. It doesn't get any better than that. That'll be sitting there from now on. At least some of the videos it'll be sitting there. So. All right, what about actual pickups? Like I said, I've got about 90 of the games. I just recently got Worm Whopper. It was in one of my pickup videos. So I found another one. Seems pretty thick. Let's check it out. All right, here it is. 
the dreadnought factor. I did not have this game when I was a kid. I had never played it before. I've seen a lot of great reviews on it. It looks like a lot of fun. And it was quite expensive a lot of places. I've seen it upwards of $50, $60. Well, I know I got this one for $20 at the most. And it's in really good shape. Like the Activision titles all slide out from the top. Manual. Both overlays. Cartridge. I'm really happy to pick that up. I really want to play it because you fly over top of the big dreadnought taking out the guns and taking out the different aspects of it trying to blow up the whole thing. I'll check it out later on on the original system that I had back when I was a kid or my brother-in-law. All right now the last thing I picked up is actually the big thing that I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna grab the box. Oh huge some pretty neat stuff in here. Stuff that I've wanted for a long time. I picked it up from Dan Henry on Facebook down in New Jersey. Uh, got a hold of him online. Worked out a deal. I haven't looked inside yet, but what a great job he did shipping. Trying to think of the safest way to open it. Alright, let's open her up. It's full. I'm going to set the box down and I'll pull the stuff out of it. Here's the first thing that I got of it. Let's pop this open. Close my knife up. Find the right one. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's in beautiful shape. And wrapped up in, in uh, bubble wrap. I have never had any of these games, and this one is shrink wrapped. Mr. Basic meets Bits and Bites. What a great addition for the collection right there. But you need something special to play it, don't you? With that, I also got the Intellivision computer adapter, the ECS. Wow. Of course, the keyboard comes with that. I've never had one. So happy to have that. I'm so happy to have that. But there's one more thing in there. One more thing that I've been looking for for a long time. Here it is. All wrapped in bubble wrap. Wow, it is open, but he assures me everything is there. I got a beautiful box in television too. I don't normally like to buy sealed things because I want to be able to take it apart and use it. But even right now, if you look in the end, even the Burger Time game is still in there. Still all the original cardboard, everything. I don't know if it's been out. And one thing that people are always looking for when they buy it, it's right there the power cord. It's got a very uh, specific power cord adapter that, that makes it run. There it is. Wow. And the box is beautiful. It really is. It's great. Get right side up. There we go. Wow. Look at all the stuff. You know what? I love Intellivision. Anyway, that's it for my special and television pickup video, guys. Uh, I'm so happy to finally have this stuff in my collection. My absolute favorite system. I'm going to keep working on it. 
Uh, I only need one more Activision game. When I had Worm Whopper, I thought I only needed one. No, I needed two. I needed this one. I think I still need River Raid in Activision games. But, uh, man, we're getting closer all the time. Anyway, glad you spent a little bit of time for me, with me today. Thank you very much. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to go play some television. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old-ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old-ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 15.